and we are delivering. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So you guys have been asking how to belt. So that's what we're going to do together. We're going to give you three tips that you can kind of keep in mind and practice. Y'all people be watching these videos and not practicing. I see you. We see you. Right. So <laughs> three tips are going to be support, space, and suspend. And we're gonna get into that right now. So the three S's are super important and we, we kind of verbalize them in that way for an easy way to remember them. The first is support and that is probably the foundation, right? In which it all yeah. it all kind of stands upon. So support, let's get into that right now. The first step being support. Nikki, what about support? The first thing about support is it's really breathing. It's where the, the, the air is coming from. And a lot of people think, oh, I'm breathing with my chest. I've done that all my life. What's the problem? No, you want to breathe with your diaphragm. Well, how do you do that? The diaphragm is not a muscle that you can control yeah. at will. Like You can't just flex it like this. So we use our abdominal muscles to control the diaphragm. It sits like a U here. Yeah. We talked about this in another video. Yeah. yeah, but it sits like a U here, and when you breathe in, it expands like this, and then you use your abdominal muscles to control how it comes out, and that affects everything. It affects your runs, your intensity, the control, everything. So support is essential. If you're not breathing right, you're not singing right. Absolutely, so let's give a couple examples of what the wrong type of breathing is and then what the right type of breathing is and a couple tricks to ensure that you are breathing the right way. So <clears throat> the wrong type of breathing is if you see your chest heaving up and down or your shoulders moving. Think of it as like a tango. This should all be completely still. So the wrong way of doing it is if you see this or that or right. You, you can move chest and shoulders at the same time. You can move this isolated or this can be isolated, but all three of them are wrong, okay? You'll also feel a very big shallowness in which uh, the breath is being held. This this place is like, it's kind of, it gives a little anxiety. It's not as low and deep, okay? It's higher up in your body and chances are also your throat muscles right here are gonna contract as well. That's wrong, okay? Why don't you give an example of the right way to breathe? So the right, right way to breathe for females, it's the you're gonna do the thing that you have worked your whole life not to do, which is stick your tummy out. <laughs> so you want to let your tummy go out like there's an alien baby growing in there. Watch, I'm gonna stick it out that way and breathe in through my nose, and then I'm gonna let it out. And if you look at my shoulders, they're not moving. The only thing that's moving is my belly. So I'm gonna do it again. High five to Nikki for being courageous and not being scared of looking like she has an alien baby in her stomach. Well, it's my body. I own it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And you should too. So yeah, you can't suck it in ladies or men. You, you have to, you have to release it. And once it's released, then you can track. So the first step is support. Make sure that you practice that at home. All right. So point number two is all about space. You are not going to get the, Tara always talks about vocal dollars, right? You're not gonna get the bang for your buck if your mouth is closed. I know it sounds so revolutionary that you have to open your mouth to sing, <laughs> but you have to open your mouth to sing. Literally. What am I talking about? Okay, so when you sing, a lot of people will go, amazing grace and they have a smile going on you can see the tension here in their throat and they're working really hard to get the note out if you open your mouth it sounds a little bit more free it sounds a little bit more smoother and it's not as hard as not as much work so for example amazing grace all i did was open my mouth I was breathing, but I opened my mouth properly. Okay, yeah. so. And it also feels better too. I mean, there's there's a difference between eh and uh. 
right? And the more space you give yourself, the less constricted internally you're gonna feel. And the more room yeah. your your body and your voice will have to, to move freely. And in particular, your voice, when it can move freely, it undulates and it gets vibrato in it. And that's kind of the mark of a nice relaxed voice yeah. and really good technique. And it, it also sounds really pretty to the listener. So that's what we want out of that, okay? And one last little tip is that you can take your finger and put it right here in front of your ear. If you open your jaw wide, you'll feel like a little hole kind of depressed there. You can kind of stick your finger in it. And if you open and close, open and close, you'll feel it pop out, right? When you're singing, if you want to check to see if you have proper space, put your finger here and open up. Amazing grace. Okay, so that is support number one. Space number two, we're moving on to step number three. All right, so step number three is suspend. What does that mean, suspend? I know it's gonna sound crazy. I mean, Tara says a lot of stuff that just is off the wall, but it works, right? It works. I'm, I'm giving you props. It works. <laughs> Tara be crazy sometimes, you know. Anyway, keep going. We still have a job right now. <laughs> oh, she always be doing that. <laughs> um, <laughs> she knows she loves me. I do. So anyway, suspend means you don't want to give everything yep. that you have. You want to kind of pull back fifty percent. I know a lot of you people, you grew up in the choir and you know, Woo! the director's like, come on, altos, let's come on, go. Somebody, let's do it. Yeah, when you're singing a solo and it's on you, you don't need to give everything that you have. You want to pace yourself through the song yeah. so that you're not vocally tired yeah. by the time you get to the end of the song. So, an example of this would be, um, actually, um, give me a C, please. Um, showing you what I can do, right? Yeah, like a point to prove. Right, yeah. so if I dial it back 50%, there we go. Amazing grace. Still sounds pretty, mm -hmm. but I'm not all up in your face, yeah. right? And, and it gives her somewhere to go, most importantly in the song. It's not that you can't ever get to that level, but I hear singers all the time, it's like they got a chip on their shoulder. They're trying to show you and tell you subliminally through the way they're sounding. Yeah. I'm awesome, you don't know it yet, but I'm gonna make sure you do. And it's like, it's like, beating my ears up, right? From this, the first time they open up their mouth to the last time, and, and there's no dynamics in that, there's nowhere to go, and it costs them more vocal dollars because they're pushing from note one. So suspend means slow your roll, take your time, poise yourself, it's a marathon, not a sprint, give yourself an arc in the song and somewhere to go, so that A, it's more musically um, full of interest for the listener, B, it doesn't cost you as much vocal dollars, and C, it teaches you vocal control. You have to think as you're singing instead of just, ah, I'm gonna do right. it all. Right. So to recap, those are the three main important things when it comes to how to belt. Support, space, and suspend. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We love you, we are so proud of you. Thanks for being the best part of our channel. Make sure you spread faith, not fear. Love, not germs. Be a blessing in a stranger's life because that is how we change the world and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And I'm